Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I just want to show you a text editor that I found. It is called Left. It is free and it is an open source software and it looks amazing. Like even on Windows, it looks great. Uh, even though we have the ugly navigation bar right here. Now on Linux, for example, you can make it look really cool without the navigation bar at all. You can maybe replace the regular notepad with it. So whatever program you're writing your notes in or something like that, for example, I like to study from text editors. I like to write everything in, in them and then study from them. I just find it uh, way more interesting than studying from the Word. It looks great. Even the icon is cool. I don't like the navigation bar. As I said, I think it would look way better without it. But hey, this is Windows, so there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, so let me just show you how it works. So I made a new document right here. I have some old documents right here and you can navigate them through this. I'm going to show you how this works. And also you can just click through and it's going to take you to that part. So let's write something. Okay, so I've writ so written this down. Let's just copy it and make more text just so I can show you how this works. So if you scroll away all the way to the top, you can actually see it's going to recommend the words you can use instead of the word you're writing or it's going to recommend the next word that's going to come up. Or you can just put it at the end of the line, for example, and it's going to show you how many lines do you have and how many words and how many, whatever the V is and the C and the percentage. Now, percentage is an interesting thing because if you take a look right here, when I'm scrolling down, it's actually filling up. So this is the scroll, basically, and it's showing you how much of the document you're at. So one thing you might be wondering is how I can, how can I add the titles or something like that? So this is going to be our main title for the document. This is going to be our first heading, and this is going to be our second heading. And of course, you can make as much as you want from them. You can add a new one, for example, here, and call it heading 2.2. And now, if you want to go to it, you can just press right here. This is the navigation, or you can go back. Now, you can also change the font. You can also change the modes. For example, insert mode, and if I want to insert the date, right here I can insert the date. Or if I want to insert this comment right here, they say that it's a comment, but it can be used as a heading as well. Uh, because once you go here and if you say uh, into the edit mode, and if you say I want to insert the comment, it's just going to pop out these two lines, and it's going to put it as another heading. I hope I'm calling this right, I think they're called headings. And you can also add themes as well. You can add custom themes, make this invert. For example, as I shown on the website, look like this or look like red colors or something like that. Uh, for more about themes, you can actually visit this GitHub right here, the 100 rabbits and themes. And look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? But I prefer the one that I already have right now. But yeah, it can look like this. Also, there are some other tools by these developers, but I'm not going to cover that right now. Now, about installing this, it is really simple. All you have to do is download it for the Windows, and it has 62 megabytes, and all you have to do is unzip it, and you're ready to go. And you can leave it anywhere you want. All I do is just pin it here, so I can use it whenever I want. Oh, also, I forgot, there is also a clock right here. A nice little detail, because you always have to have a clock. And if you go download, it's going to ask you to donate. Now, if you want, you can donate. You can also skip this if you want to. You can support the developers by paying as much as you think it's fair for the tool. So that's it. All I wanted to say is this looks amazing and I love writing inside of it. And I think it's a great text editor and I like using it. I think you should definitely give it a shot for using it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. For the next video, I'm going to probably cover Metasploitable. I have uh, done a lot of work on that and I want to make sure that the video is good. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.